the vehicle is run and drive. I'll be back in. Uh, we shrink right up any openings. Check this out. Copart had a lot of work to do to my truck. This lot had to clean up an entire jumbo bag of Skittles. And they did a pretty good job. Uh, there's just a few left crammed into my dashboard. We're then waiting on the title from the insurance company. Uh, as soon as that's retrieved, we um, get the title in the insurance company's name, and then it goes on the next available sale. Well, honestly, there's some comfort in knowing that there's a second life for my junk pile. A lot of good memories. Sorry I messed you up, truck. But an auto recycler or someone else is going to enjoy this truck. Bye, X-Runner. I'll miss you. Man, that is one handsome field reporter. Uh, but seriously, my junk pile will be in the limelight herself when she rolls across the block tomorrow at noon Eastern. Well, Greg, if it's not too hard, why don't you tell us a little bit more about it if you think you can handle it? Uh, okay, I, I think I can manage. Now, my truck, which had a license plate junk pile on it, is a 2005 Toyota Tacoma X-Runner. Now, the cool thing about the X-Runner is it's lowered aero skirt package and 18-inch Bridgestone Potenzas that allowed this truck to pull almost one G on a skid pad stock. I could roll a motorcycle into the back with ease because it was lowered, but the four liter six was strong and this truck was fast. I can go on and on, but next week we'll see how the auction went. I think I have a little something in my eye, JD. <laughs> well, Craig was reminiscing. I found a live auction at the Dunn, North one, Carolina lot. White. It's a 2004 Chrysler mm -hmm. Sebring. Going one, right going now we have white. Ohio and North Carolina bidding going back one, and forth. White. This has rear going end one, damage. Run and drive verification, a 2.7 liter six. Man, they really want this one. Nice project for oh, someone. Oh, Ohio, better. it's sold. I think I'm going to need to pull the plug on Done this auction lot, now. though, because we need to take a break. Next on Sold in Seconds, they took what some consider junk and turned it into fashion. We knew that immediately that there was, we'd really hit a nerve. People were excited about the products and they loved the fact that it was environmentally friendly. How discarded seatbelts and license plates turned into a booming business. And the second hunt on the block, the 1999 Yamaha LS2000 jet boat when we return. Interested in getting in on the Copart bidding action? Registration is easy and anyone can do it. Just go to copart.com, click on how to buy, sign up, and within seconds you'll be searching for your next vehicle. Second hot on the block auction just wrapped up. Greg, why don't you tell us once again a little more about your dream boat? Oh, uh, on your dream boat? How cute. Uh, no, the Yamaha. Uh, okay, well, this was Yamaha's biggest boat when it intro in 99. The LS2000 is 19 feet 6 inches from stem to stern with a beam of 8 feet. That's nautical terms, Jamie. It's beamy enough. There's another one to seat seven adults. Now, originally it came with twin 135 horsepower, 1131 cc, 155 millimeter hyperflow pumps. Uh, all right, let's just say that it was fast. Faster, zero to 20 than this auction. See, it started off $950 in the preliminary going bidding. One, going wide. It's pretty good considering the thing doesn't have any engines. Yes. Has a clean title though. Ah, uh, see, zero to 20 oh, in 3.1 seconds, so that lasted 10. <laughs> that's our first hot on the going block. One, going wide. Our second hot on the block, that's number two. So now we're at live auctions in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's the Dunlop, and it's a 2004 one, Honda Civic one, LX. Mm -hmm. Has a salvage certificate, some front end damage, one, Quebec, going Lebanon, going Lebanon back and forth. Great thing about the VV2 technology, we see bids from all over the world. Yeah, and it's great too because if you're not able to sit at home during one of these auctions as they occur during the week at noon local time, you can set your price and let the VB2 technology do it for you. I'm sorry to say this, but we need to move on. Already on Sold in Seconds, we've introduced you to people who reuse parts out of Copart cars and people who recycle car parts at the end of their lives. Uh, today, we're taking you to a company that figured out how to repurpose parts, giving them new lives as entirely new products. In an unassuming building in the heart of Pittsburgh, auto parts recycling has taken on a whole new meeting. A company called Little Earth makes everything from door handles to decorations out of repurposed car parts, many from salvage yards across the country. We learned this whole operation started with a college project back in the early 90s. I just decided on a whim to take a business class, and the assignment in the class was um, to do some kind of environmentally friendly company with an interesting twist or, or bent. Rob Brandegee took that assignment seriously. Soon he and his wife Eva DeMarco were making their mark in what was a fledgling industry. We had seen a lot of 
eco-friendly products at that time, but they were all a little, not real exciting, and maybe they looked like they were made in your house, you know, so we thought, well, let's design something that is really cool first and recycled second, so people will feel like, I really want to buy this thing, and then while they are using it, they learn about the environment and help it out. The first really cool thing, a belt with a seat belt buckle. But Rob didn't stop at that. Our very first purse, my, my husband Rob is like the tinkerer, and he came in one day and he had two tuna cans with a license plate wrapped around it. He's like, this is gonna be a great product. And we were like, really? Really? The company now makes thousands of license plate bags each year, bending the plates into shape, riveting them together, and adding car-worthy chrome to the ends, and even some extra bling. But why car parts? Why license plates? People get attached to it too. Like people love their cars in the United States and a lot of people send us their license plate like from their first car or from their husband's car and it's really neat to make like a CD holder or a purse out of something that has a personal meaning for you. You know, people can't quite figure out why they save license plates, but everyone saves their license plate just because it's such a, a durable, cool piece of kind of simple technology. The reflectiveness, the numbers, says where you come from, where you'd like to go. It tells a lot about the person, so I think that's what our products do. The hope of Little Earth? That the bags and barrettes and belts will mean just as much to the wearers as the cars they came from, and will help preserve what Little Earth we have. There's definitely a move towards people buying recycled products as a primary you know, asset of the product. When we started this company, we were just barely on the radar with that, like most people really didn't care, but now it's the other way around. People really actively seek out eco-friendly products. It's made a huge difference for us when we are kind of harvesting all those products. It makes you feel good knowing that they're not going to be in the landfill. They're actually going to be worn and appreciated by somebody that loves cars. Little Earth is branching out now to include sports lovers. You'll soon be able to find football, baseball, basketball, even hockey products at Target and JCPenney stores. Greg, we asked about NASCAR, and they said that that sport moves so fast that they can't keep up with the drivers, but they're working on it. Well, that's good to know because, uh, you know, I'm dying for a license plate clutch that professes my unwavering support for Carl Edwards, <laughs> you know? Look, every week we tell you about something on Copart.com that can help a working man or woman get the job done. This week is no different. Now, I bet my mom wishes she had one of these babies while I was growing up. It's an international 4700.